There are lots of different ways to make pyrotechnic whistles. Here are some of the successful formulations. Basically, you, have to, you need to know, if you're going to do some experiments in whistles, where the carbon dioxide reaction leads to in terms of giving you fuel and oxidizer. All right, we're going to do a short course on whistles. We're going to do an advanced course on whistles. The short course goes like this. If you want to make a pyrotechnic whistle, you take a tube, you fill it half full of composition, you press the composition in excess of 5,000 pounds per square inch, and you use 27% potassium benzoate, 73% potassium perchlorate. 40 millimeter diameter whistle, this is only about a half an inch of composition. This is just that raw formulation. Okay. Notice there's a significant amount of energy in a pyrotechnic whistle composition. Okay, well now it starts the fun. Now I found a pyro whistle system that I like. I know I can measure it. Let's start dumping stuff in the pyro whistle. Well, the first thing we're going to do is go look at red gum. I want to see how much binder I can put into a whistle to see how hard I can press it and still have it make a whistle. And it turns out you cannot press a whistle composition too hard to make it work. If you press it too hard, it'll detonate while you're pressing it, so you stay within the limits of what we, uh, what we recommend. This puts all that data together, and essentially all it says is the more junk you put into a whistle, the slower it's going to burn and the lower the amplitude. The point here is that from the safety standpoint, as you start to increase diameter slightly, from a quarter to a half to three quarters, you start getting bigger and bigger surface areas. When you're pressing two, two and a quarter inch diameter whistle, it's like shooting 81 whistles synchronously. For example, what I want you to listen to is after the whistle's over, the echo from the cloud cover. I'm sorry. And right, I'll be here. I want to leave you with one word that I use all the time as a piece of advice. For me to you, remember, the answer to duck is not huh. Think about that. <laughs>